Einstein, California, has died. She was 90 years old. CNN's Lauren Fox is here with more. Lauren, what do we know at this point? Yeah, we are still getting more information, Phil, but what we know right now is that Senator Dianne Feinstein, the longest serving woman in the U.S. Senate, she has passed away. Obviously, we are still getting details and gathering information about her passing, how it occurred. We've known for a long time that Senator Feinstein has struggled with several health issues, but she has continued to serve in her capacity both as a senator and on the Senate Judiciary Committee, where her vote has been essential to moving forward with the Biden administration's judicial nominees over the last several years and last several months in particular. Senator Dianne Feinstein has a long legislative history and record, including the fact that she was the architect of the 1994 assault weapons ban. Fighting gun violence has been a key issue for Senator Feinstein over the course of her career. She was also the first woman to serve as the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, and she fought even against her Democratic colleagues to release details of the enhanced interrogation techniques that were used under the Bush administration, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Obama administration in trying to get the public more informed about what had occurred during those years in the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. So obviously, she is someone who has a long legislative history, a long career, someone who is obviously going to be very missed by her colleagues. But as I noted, she has been struggling with health issues over the last several months. She was absent from the Senate for many months as she fought shingles and complications from shingles. She returned to the Senate and had struggled at times with her role on the Senate uh, Judiciary and Appropriations Committee. Specifically, a few months ago, she was struggling, you know, to vote on a, on a vote uh, in the Senate Appropriations Committee. So it is something that has come to pass, but we are still getting more details about Senator Dianne Feinstein's passing. And Lauren, thank well, you for the breaking news. Please stay with us, as I believe we also have our colleague Casey Hunt on the phone. Casey, can you hear us? Hey, guys, yeah, I'm with you. You know, you think about her service, 31 years in the Senate, elected in 92, longest serving uh, woman senator ever. Lauren talked about the work that she did, really the architect of the assault weapons ban back in 1994, a huge uh, voice as well when it came to the push to legalize gay marriage. As We'll get to the health in, in a moment, but just help us remember the woman and the senator. Absolutely, Poppy. I mean, I, you know, Lauren touched on this a little bit, and I know, you know, Phil can speak to this too. Uh, you know, he and I often were in the halls together uh, talking with Senator Feinstein. I mean, she really was a legend, an icon for women in politics, uh, and she is someone who, uh, you know, was breaking ground from the beginning when she was first working uh, in San Francisco with Harvey Milk and some of the, you know, kind of original um, battle over rights for uh, gay uh, Americans. And, uh, you know, she is somebody who uh, had just an incredibly storied career from there, uh, you know, rising to national prominence. And, you know, Lauren outlined a couple of the things that she really uh, took the lead on. You know, I, I remember in particular her work uh, on the Intelligence Committee and when she was focusing in on some of the things that had happened in the course uh, of the Iraq War and how she really uh, took that on in a way that, that took political courage uh, at the time uh, and really uh, stood out and uh, was very uh, forceful uh, in how she ran with that. But, you know, again, Poppy, I, I, I think it, she really blazed a trail at a time when there were not very many women role models uh, in politics uh, for others to follow. It was a very, very tough uh, road for her uh, in the beginning. And she is someone who, you know, Nancy Pelosi, for example, uh, she would have been an example for Pelosi, also uh, of San Francisco. Uh, and she did, of course, uh, come in for some criticism from Democrats uh, near the end uh, of her life because she was grappling with with those health challenges, as you know, you're seeing a little bit of uh, on your screen now yeah. here. But I, I do think that on this particular day, you're correct to focus in on kind of what she yeah. meant uh, in such a broad way to to so many people and the ground that she broke for so many people. Phil, you were the chief congressional correspondent. Just your thoughts on her. I, I mean, I think. Casey's point, I think your point, this is important here. There's been so much focus on the health uh, and the age and everything. People need to think about who 
the senator was, obviously passing away at 90, but not only was she a, a titan in the Senate uh, and kind of in a class of, of female legislators that changed the dynamic and the face of the institution as well, 